Hey guys, my name is Padma Manandar and I am a software developer here at Programmies. I'm really glad to be your instructor for this video series on C programming. And in this series, we will learn everything you need to know to get started with C. By the end of this series, you will have a good understanding of C and programming in general. So let's get started. So what is C programming? C is a general purpose programming language that has wide range of application. It was initially developed to rewrite Unix operating system. Apart from that, modern web browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, database management system like MySQL, and hundreds of other applications use C. C is pretty old language created during 1970s and with the rise of new languages like Python and JavaScript, there may arise an important question. Is C outdated? The simple answer to this is no. While these new languages have their own benefits, C is still a popular language for several reasons. C is very fast and efficient, so if you are working on application where efficiency is must, like compilers or operating system, C is a good choice. Also, C programming allows us to access the hardware of computers on a deeper level that modern languages do not. That's why there is still a lot of demand for C programmers. According to Glassdoor, a popular job portal site, there are 18,000 active job openings for C programmers in the United States. In fact, many universities teach students C programming as their first language, and it was the first programming language for me as well. There is a good reason for it. Learning C helps you understand how the software and hardware interact with each other as C allows us to directly work with computer memory. So on the question of should you learn C? While C programming may not be the hottest language out there, we at Programmies believe every programmer should learn C eventually. It helps us to understand programming from a deeper level. Here is a line from Joel Spolsky, the founder of Stack Overflow. If you can't understand why this code copies a string, you are a programming based on superstition. So getting to the basics and understanding it is a must for every programmer. Before we learn to write our very first program, our computer needs to install a C compiler and a text editor. To make this process easier, we have created an online tool that lets you run C on the browser without installing anything. To access our online C editor, we'll open our browser and go to this URL www.programmies.com slash c programming slash online dash compiler you can also find the link in the video description below we will write our code in this area and when i hit run it will execute the code and so output in this area now let's write our very first c program we'll create a program called hello world if you do not know a hello world is a simple program that displays hello world on the screen since it's a simple program, it is often used to introduce a new programming language to beginners. Writing even a simple program like this also involves a couple of steps. So bear with me. First, we need to create the main function, int main with parentheses and with curly braces. This is the main function. It's the starting point of every C program. Now to mark the end of this program, we'll need to use return statement like this. Although this part is not necessary, it's considered a good programming practice. Now to print the text in C programming, we first need to import the file named stdio.h. For that, I'll write here has include stdio.h. For now, just remember that every C program will have this structure and we will write the code inside this curly braces. So to print the hello world, I'll write here print f bracket inside quotation hello world and end this statement with a semicolon now let me run this code as you can see in the output we get hello world here are the points to take away from this video every c program start from this main function we will write our code inside these curly braces 
As we go further in this course, we will cover these lines in much more detail and write some very interesting programs. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon. And before we end this video, I have a suggestion for you. The best way you can learn programming is by writing code. If you are just watching videos without actually writing code, you may soon forget and lose interest. So I highly recommend you to practice what you have watched as we move forward in this course. That's it for the video. I hope you learned something. If you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you don't miss the next video. If you have any questions and feedback, use the comment box. In the next video, we will learn about variables in C programming and how they are used to store data. See you in the next video. Happy programming.